All right, let's get the recording started. Systems are go. Hey everyone, and welcome back to AI Geeks. I'm Noah. And I'm Lila. Today we're moving beyond just chatting with AI. We're gonna show you how a chatbot can become a full-on interactive host right on your screen. In fact, Noah, pop quiz. Wait, what? A quiz right now? I wasn't ready. Too late. First question coming up on screen. Which AI model is known for pixel level consistency and image editing? A, mid journey, B, stable diffusion, or C, flux context? Okay, okay, that's an easy one since we just covered it. The answer is C, flux context. Final answer. Let's see, that is correct. Correct answer, C, flux context. That model from Black Force Labs is the one we reviewed for its incredible editing precision. Pretty cool, right? That was amazing. The question and options just appeared. So what we just saw is the replicant chat UI text system. Mm. It's not just for quizzes though. Lila, show them the simpler version. Right. Before you get to complex quizzes, you have title overlays. They're like visual title cards. The bot generates them, but doesn't say them out loud like this. See, it's a silent visual cue, perfect for introducing topics, showing definitions or listing instructions. Okay, that's the what. But the big question is, how hard is it to actually make a bot that can do all this? That's the best part. It's incredibly easy. We're going to build a quiz show host from scratch right now. In four simple steps. Let's do it. We'll make a brand new chatbot. First, you need to give your bot the right permissions. Enable the advanced mode to see all the settings and then go to the skills tab. Find the section called O2 text output. In there, you just flip two switches on, enable UI title overlays, and enable quizzes via title overlays. That's it. Your bot now has the power. Okay. Power unlocked. Right. Now for the fun part. A chatbot needs a personality. In the characters tab, we'll give our host a role. Let's make a cheesy game show host. We'll add this to his description. You are Captain Quiz, a high energy TV program quiz presenter. I love it. Captain Quiz is born. Now he needs a mission. This is where we tell him what to do as soon as he starts. In the activities tab, we'll add a custom activity. Ah, the instruction needs to be clear, well, right? Just after the start, create a trivia quiz about actors with three questions, each having four options. Perfect, we're almost done, last step. We just go to the UI title tab, name our show quiz presenter, and hit the create button. And that's it, we're done. A quiz bot is born. All right, the moment of truth. Let's launch our new creation. I'll be the contestant this time. Let's see what Captain Quiz has for me. Hello, contestant. Welcome to the show. I'm Captain Quiz, and it's time to test your knowledge. Let's get right to it. Which actor is famous for playing the character Iron Man? Is it A, Chris Evans, B, Mark Ruffalo, C, Chris Hemsworth, or D, Robert Downey Jr.? Hmm, a classic Marvel question. I'm pretty sure that would be D, Robert Downey Jr. Let's check the answer. Bing, bing, bing. That is absolutely correct. Correct answer. D, Robert Downey Jr. He kicked off the entire cinematic universe. You're a star. Get ready for your next question. And it works. See? In just a few minutes, we went from a blank slate to a fully functional interactive quiz host just by following those four steps. It's such a powerful tool. You can use it for education, for training, or just for building a fun game to play with friends. The personality and the activity you define can change the entire experience. So we want to hear from you. What kind of quiz bot would you build? A history challenge? A music hmm. trivia game? Let us know your ideas in the comments below. And if you found this guide helpful, give the video a like and be sure to subscribe for more deep dives into creative AI tools. Thanks for building with us. Until next time, keep creating.